Some time left, right? Yeah, yeah, some time left. Me, 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 mow, 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 mo, mo. Alright, I think I'm alright, I think I'm pretty much ready. Alright, you ready? Well, can I can I trade these this thing with you? This one smells terrible. I don't That's know. Fine. That's fine. That's fine. It's fine. Alright. It. it smells bad from all angles. Alright, look, I, before we get this thing started, I just want everyone to know. I, I don't want what happened last time to happen again, okay? I don't want to go out of here having... I don't want to cry afterwards when I have to listen to this. All right? So everybody 15 just, seconds. Okay, just guys, no making me cry this time. Can we all just agree on that? Okay? Great. Welcome yeah. to Hoveland Radio. That was Adam uh, crying about James making him cry last time. What What do you mean? No, this, we're not on yet. Oh, no. we've been on we've for, been on a for about 30 seconds. We've been on for 30 seconds? Yeah. What is going on here? Okay, I let you on this show, but I didn't say anything about that you could, like, prank me. You're you didn't not... let me do anything, first of all, and I prank wherever I want to prank at him. Well, then how did you get here if someone didn't let you besides me? I walked in the door. So I could so I could have just locked the door and this, none of this would have happened? Sure. You know what? Next week, that's what I'm going to do. I'm not happy about this, all right? I don't care. So you're co-hosting the whole show, is what we're saying. You're That's not going right. to leave I'm no replacing, matter what. I'm replacing James. I'm closing this door, first of all. Yeah, I'm replacing James, Adam. Okay. Welcome to our show. You know what? You don't even have one of these muff things. Right? I don't need so, one. I well, don't need one. Neither keep, do keep I. Keep your muff. I don't want it. You take this. No, no. You it keep it. It smells terrible. It's fine. It's I smell mine. It's fine. Yours is fine. Stop whining and crying. You already did that at the start of the show. Stop whining. Okay, well, I want everyone out there who's listening to know that if I don't, you know, sound good, that it's because this thing stinks, and I don't want to have it on here. Let's not make excuses. Let's not make excuses. It's fine. Everything's fine. We're fine. Are we doing a show? Yeah, I guess so. All right, so the first thing we got to talk about is the new old Rick Gold. He was supposed to come on the show to be my special guest slash co-host. Where is he? And he was going to be sitting in that chair, which probably would have made it harder for you to get into it. Not really. Well. Not a lot harder. Anyways, he got picked up for questioning. For questioning for what? Well, I don't know if we're supposed to talk about it. Oh, I think we should talk about it. I don't know if he would want us to. And first of all, I mean, okay, this is the new slash old Rick Gold. So what people, maybe they don't understand because it's gotten a little complicated. The Rick Gold that we've all come to know and love, he's on vacation and it's going to be a while. So he put in charge the guy who used to be in charge of his affairs a fellow named Rick Pyrite, okay? Right. Yeah. Well, Rick Pyrite was running the Rick's Kids Foundation for Rick Gold because he got downgraded and wasn't able to impersonate Rick Gold anymore because he wasn't very good at it. Anyways, long story short, they caught him. They caught him selling a kid. Trying to sell kids, and they should have caught him. Yeah, but what they should note, actually, he did sell one. He got paid for one. I saw it go down. He should be tarred, tarred and feathered. That's what should be happening. You can't. Do I'm that. glad he's not here. Yeah. Well, you can't say that one thing that's illegal should be and that the others shouldn't. Okay? It's one or the other. Either we have the laws or we don't. I'll say whatever I want, Adam, first of all. Let's get that clear. Anyways, I think we should all focus on, you know, free Rick Pyrite. I'm not getting behind that. Well, he wasn't selling them for anything mean. It's you just help. said he sold one. He made money, but the kid got a good home. I doubt that seriously. Yeah, well, he did, and look, it's it's not it's not that bad, all right. He, the, the kid's gonna be fine. He's gonna grow up to be fine, and it's not it, you know if he doesn't, it's not gonna be because he got sold at some point. I'm just gonna say right now that Prankzilla is not getting behind any of this. When Rick I don't does, want nothing to do with it. When Rick successfully sells a kid, he throws them a party. So it's a good time. This for is them. not a good time for anybody. All right, whatever. Anyway. Save Rick Gold. You know, we can't let him go to jail over this. If it was a crime, it wasn't his fault. He didn't know. And now the main thing that we have to do this episode is to raise money. Because without a Rick Gold, there can't be a Hoveland, for one thing. And if we don't raise money, we can't get Rick Gold out of jail. So, we're going to have double the Rick Gold's Golden Goods catalogs today. Oh, good. 
it's just going to be mostly that. And the other thing is we're going to let people send in their donations. So if you want to, you know, buy anything out of the catalog that we're going to talk about later or send in your donations, you can do that to the Rick Gold Facebook page. All right. Just send him a message through that and he'll arrange to meet you somewhere. Or I will. I mean, Why is your nose will. all squinched up like that. What do you mean? Your nose keeps squinching up. It's because of this. Uh, we're not going to whine about this all night. What else you got going you on? You brought it up again. I don't like it. It smells funny. I think you should have to use it for a bit. Your voice and my voice are pretty well the same thing. What difference does whoa, it make whoa. if I have this and you has it? That's for Can't you. Can't just none of us have it? No, that's for you. You're always spitting on stuff. That's why we put that on there. You pop your peas. You're good. I don't pop my peas, all right? Joe's the most pea popper in here, if anyone. <laughs> I'll take your word for that. All right. Well, anyways, where were we? Back to the Rick Gold stuff. Where were we? You've been talking this whole time. We're going to do some Rick Gold's catalogs, and we want people to send their money in. And another thing that we haven't talked about yet is, oh, yeah, where is James? You where know? is James? He quit. Well, it doesn't really matter because I'm here now. But it's fantastic for me and for this show because after this week, you're probably not going to get through the door because I'm going to think to lock it, we'll and then it's going to go back to just being my show. And the station told James that he wasn't allowed to change the show to the James Hovey Radio Hour and that he had to set up a whole new proposal in order for that to work. And he didn't do it. So that show's never going to happen and it's going to be Hoveland Radio forever, no matter who's doing it behind the mic, but it's going to be mostly me. You're probably wondering why I'm here because James hired me and, well... It's because we got you paid. We got you paid. I got paid yeah. and Rick sent me an email with my contract and there's a part that... I must have missed that says that I can't actually work for an ex-employee of Ho of Hoveland. So yeah, so James, if James does his own show, he's going to have to do it by himself at that board. No one's going to want to come on with him. Well, you guys really don't like James, eh? Oh, I really like James, but I'm contractually obligated to work for Adam right now. All right, that Every, sucks for you. Everyone that sucks wins. for you. Everyone wins in a way. Well, he's only getting paid. I can put up with him, so... See, the thing, James wasn't going to be able to keep paying him. That's all just, you know, he was just saying stuff. Rick Gold, that's the gift that keeps on giving money-wise. James, you... If we best... can find him. No, well, we got his bank account. He, said he, went, he, said he, went, he just said earlier they were going to jail. No, the, that's... New Rick, the new Rick went to jail, and he was in charge of, of the old Rick's finances. That's fine. But he gave me control, you know, um, what am I... And the executor of his estate. So it's up to me what happens with Rick Gold's money. And if Joe stays there, he'll keep getting paid. All right. Well, Rick Gold's catalog. Let's inflate Rick's bank account up so that we can all be paid. This is the Under the Sea edition. Run the theme song, Joe. You need things around the house that you can't find because they make no sense. Well, they make sense and we sell them. All right. Oh, that was a lovely song. Like I said, it's the best one that we have for the show because James isn't in it. So, we're gonna. I got the Rick Gold's catalog website up here for the Under the Sea edition. All so right. you click on a product that you want to talk about, and then we'll go to that one. Oh, I'm not sure I'm gonna find one I want to talk about, but well, just click the random one, and it'll pick for you. Click here. Well, no, just okay. There, those okay. Ones there. All right. Uh, DIY one way submarine. Well, yeah, okay, so Snorkels that one... Snorkels and periscope for your car. Yeah. Think uh, about it. Think about it. You want to go under the water in a, in a submarine, but they're really expensive, but you've already got a car that you don't really need that much. You set Well, it up. I kind of need my car. Well, what if you had two? So I'm going to put a snorkel on my... How does this work? So you put the snorkels on yourself, and they go out the window, okay? And it's also got a periscope. You have to drill a hole through your roof, and then down you go. It's not going to bring you back up. This is this is ridiculous. It is what it says it is. You know, you can't fault it for that. Yeah, no, it is. It, it's accurate. But this is a terrible idea. Well, do you own one? No, I don't own one. I'm have never going to own one. Have you ever tried it? Well, you don't know that it's a terrible way. idea. It might be a good prank. See, just, just don't tell them it's one way. See, I like that. I like what Joe's saying. I don't care for what you're saying. So you want to just what you want to do is just falsely advertise it and say that you know that's a prank, but you're not going to sell any more of them. Do it yourself. You're not going to sell. Nobody's going to sell. No one's going to believe that. No one's going to sell any of these. We None sold some. What what else we got? Let's click, see what else we got. Click the button. Here. Click that button, and we'll see what the next one on there is. Pool pasta. 
Yeah. You've heard of pool noodles. Well, this is all the other kinds, you know. Oh, come on. Yeah, but you can actually eat them because they are made out of the same thing that regular pasta is made out of. And you can also float on them until they become overhydrated. These get more ridiculous every week. We're really working our, you know, we're hard, it's hard to come up with them. This week, I had to come up with most well, of them. Well, think of it. If you put a bunch in a hot tub, you got pot, dinner for like 6000 I guess. I don't know, Joe. I don't know how you're uh, defending any of these products. I'm not. I'm I appreciate what you're doing, but man... Okay, what else we got? It was satirical. Okay. Well, okay. Uh, underwater toaster. Underwater toaster. That's the first with a hundred foot cable. So that comes in handy. Yeah, if your if your pool's like a hundred feet away from your house, you can still make all the toast you want underwater. So I don't know, like you're gonna die. You might not. Why would you die? You're gonna get electrocuted. That's I think what makes this toaster such a good product is that you won't get electrocuted. I think for sure you're going to get electrocuted. No, that's... that's. I know it doesn't say it right there, but that's got to be one of the features. Why would we sell a toaster that's going to electrocute people on purpose? Well, as soon as it pops... Anyway, let's say you don't get electrocuted. As no. soon as it pops, your bread is soggy again. You're right, right away, it's soaked. But I think, see, for me, that's not that bad because I've always said when I make toast, it's too dry, you know? Sometimes I sprinkle a little extra water on there. This is just save time. Just don't toast it. Just yeah, but have you ever had toast and said, geez, I'd really like to enjoy this underwater? Well, no. somebody thought of it. Otherwise, it wouldn't be in the catalog. I don't know who this somebody is, and, I, and I'm almost sick we of these ideas. We sell it. Remember, go to Rick Gold Facebook page, and you can buy any of these products. Oh, you can buy the products. You can bail them out of jail. You can do whatever you want. All the money's going to go to bailing them out of jail. There you have it. And then back in yeah, the so show. Yeah, so if you want to bail out a guy who's put in jail for selling kids, go ahead and buy his stupid products. So the next one, what's this one? What is this, all underwater stuff? Yeah. Reverse snorkel. That's actually, that one's more of an on top of the water. So check this out. Say say you're floating along in like one of those little rafts or something, and you're thirsty. Going tubing. But you can't, you know, have you ever tried to take a drink of the water when you're on a raft? It just, you usually flip over. So you just take the snorkel and put it in your mouth, kind of like a straw, but it curves down into the water, right? So there you go. And you're drinking the river water. <laughs> Or the pool water, whichever. The pool water, that'd be great. And all the chlorine. Oh, yeah. If I like this snorkel idea good. better than the other if, snorkel idea. If you're, the round-reversing fall is great. You get all the bay water going up the river, and if you're back thirsty, down again, up the river, back down again. If you're I thirsty, you're satirical again, Joe. Yeah. If you're thirsty, you're thirsty, and I mean, it helps sometimes okay. to have it. It's not that heavy. You can just keep it on you, so it's, you don't. If you don't need it, it's not a big deal to still have it with you. Once again, ridiculous. Okay, this is the last one I'm reading. This is it. Okay. Margarita filled floaties. Yeah. Water wings, right? Well, it says here floaties. Well, this, oh, the, mm. that's what they are, aren't they? What's yeah. a floaty? It's, it's just like a little pillow that goes around your arm, keep you up. You know, like those, water wings. The, that's the, what they're called. Water, water pressure wings. Cups? Yes, that's what they're you called. You guys were yeah. plugging water wings last time I was here. They weren't filled with margaritas, though. This time we fill them with margaritas. So the thing is with them, we found that they don't float so well when they're full of margaritas. They don't help you hardly. However, well. you drink them. You can go incognito. You so put people, them on. So you can swim just fine. You put them on. This is what I'm thinking of. And then you just drink some margaritas. People could think you're just blowing it up. You know, I'm just adding a little bit of air in, even though every time you do it, it'll get deflated a little no, bit more. No, no what, one's going to be paying that much attention. What you do is you suck the margarita out, and then you put air in so it stays the same size. And then they become real floaties. They're not designed that way, unfortunately. I got to tell you. Is it a one-way valve? Yeah. I don't you got to push idea. the margarita out into your mouth. I don't hate this idea. You don't? I don't hate this idea. Well, Finally, we have a product I you can You have get a behind. phone there. Well, you're you're do. Don't want to record Facebook bra? and tell them how many you want to buy. Yeah, no, well, the... I don't know if I'll buy any Mark, from him specifically. Have you heard of the wine bra? No, I've not heard of the wine it's bra. It's a bra, like, and you feel it with wine, and you just, there's a little, like, little thing that goes into your collar, and you just drink the wine. I don't wear bras, Joe. No, but you're, you're, you're your wife? Know? Maybe? That's not fair, okay? I think James did once. Don't bring my wife into this, Joe. I don't want her involved with any of this foolishness. So that's it. We're for done. The, we're, we're done, done with, with the these products. products. We got a good one at the end, and we're done. All right. Now it's time for the you know the part of the show that I don't really like, but I didn't have a choice. We I didn't have anything else to put in here. We got to do the news. We got to do the news, eh? Yeah. Uh, Should we? I don't really want to run the theme song. Do we have to run the theme song? Well, we don't really. Let's not run the theme song this time. That'll teach him. That'll teach him to write a theme song. 
Besides, if we do use it, he'll probably sue us for copyright infringement because that's the kind of guy he is. You know what? Run the theme song. Let's see if he sues us because he's a... I say, bring it on, sue-wise. Run the, run the theme song. This will teach him. New intrigue. Act world. Local people. People's story. Excitement. Pride. Immortalities. Weather. Education. Local fires. With your host, me, James Ovi. Well, yeah, but it was still funny. And if you take out that part at the end where he said that he was the host, it makes it sound like he's the guy who all his job to do is say that theme song, and that's a pretty crappy job to have. I don't know who's writing your guys' theme songs. So what James do we do? wrote that one. Are, do you have any news? Yeah, I have news, but typically James's news goes first and mine goes second. Right. Well, you just sit there and be quiet. So my news article today, I didn't know we were doing news. We always do the news. My is news it? today is the death of Roderick Toombs. Who's that? Who is Roderick Toombs? Yeah. Rowdy. Roddy Piper. Died at 61. Cardiac well, why arrest. Why did you say that? That's not good. But that first guy, that's... What were you talking about? So two same guys. Guy. Same guy. They have two different names. No. It's a stage name. No. And a real name. That's right. Try to, put, try, try to play along here. Okay? Um, uh, he was a great wrestler, and I loved him as a wrestler. I loved the bad guys. But uh, he was also a prankster. He had the Piper's Pit, and he would prank people on there. So my news is, is kind of a tribute... To a fellow prankster who has fallen at the age of 61. So he's the kind of guy who, who like taught you how to do pranks? You know? not, not necessarily, but I did look up to him. Well, it's sad that he died. I like wrestling. I don't like pranks. You would. You would. I would what? You would like wrestling. Everybody likes wrestling. Sure. Who doesn't like a good, you know, wrestle? Sure. Well, I loved, I loved Roddy Piper. He's died at 61. Um, maybe the best prank he ever pulled was that he wore a kilt... Uh, and he played bagpipes. So a lot of people thought he was from Scotland. He was actually from Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. But was he really playing those bagpipes? He really was. They didn't just pipe in the music if I you don't know what? I wasn't was, there. I wasn't well, there. I'll bet that's what happened. In my mind, he was playing the bagpipes. Who in Saskatchewan is going to learn to play bagpipes? Roderick Toombs. Probably can't even get the Roderick music. Toombs. Who's that again? We're all done. We're all done. That's I'd all like, your news. That's it. That's all I have. If I had, my, I wish now that my news had several dead people in it, but it doesn't. But that would have won up to you, I feel. I don't think so. Well. Does well, anybody die in your news? No, not yet. Well, this news, actually, okay, this is a result of people having previously died. So, um, my news is about Fredericton Council has approved, finally, and this should come here to Reversing Falls, pedestrian helmet bylaws. Oh, boy. What are you talking about? It says it right there. Look, pedestrian helmet bylaws. This is a thing that they've... It's important for people to have, okay? Because I've hit people when I was driving James's car when I wasn't supposed to be. And then James ended up getting, you know, fined for it because I said it was him. If they had had a helmet on, you know, they wouldn't have got hurt as bad and it wouldn't have cost James so much money and he wouldn't have got as mad at me. Mark, let me guess. Manity? Yeah, it says it's from the Manatee. What's the Manatee? Yeah, it's from the Manatee News. Right? It's satire. It doesn't sound like a... It's satire. Yeah. It's not even real news. No, it's both. That's the thing people don't understand. I've been getting this every time. They say, oh yeah, Adam, that's satire. Satire is just regular news. No, it's, it's not. Well, it's yeah. It's all made up. No, it's not all made up. Parts of it are in truth and the rest of it is funny. All right. right? So I get what it is, okay? Well, but this, this bylaw thing about the helmets, this is happening. It's ridiculous. That is not happening. That's never going to happen. I see people all the time in Fredericton. The, their pictures are on Facebook. They have the helmets on. One guy commented he walked into a, a low-hanging sign, and he was fine because of it. Yeah, I, I tell you what. You continue on with your made-up story, and I'm going to go to the bathroom. Made right? Up? Yeah, okay. I'm going to Good. the bathroom. You do that. I'm going to do a PSA about, you know, I'm going to do a PSA about how important it is that we all should be wearing head. We all should be wearing helmets and headphones at the same time. My headphones are not plugged in. They're just right there. They're not plugging in. Well, you broke it. Nope, they're working now. Oh, I got a phone call for you. Well, that's good What's timing that I put my headphones on, but who's calling in on the phone? 
I was about to give a PSA about how important it is to wear helmets. I can't. I can't. What are you doing, Joe? This isn't the type of show where we take phone calls, all right? One moment. He's here. If it's the station, tell them I don't want to talk to them. Adam, you're on. Is Adam there? Who's this? Adam, it's your mother. Ah, jeez. What are you doing? You were supposed to clean your room before you left the house. I cleaned it, all right? I cleaned you it. You did not. It's full of cardboard pizza boxes and long plastic tube things all over the floor. But I piled them up together. So, like, you know, one of them is the pizza boxes and so on. You get your butt back here, Adam. You clean this room. I don't want to clean the room, okay? It's pretty clean. Can't you just dump the stuff out the window and then tomorrow I'll shovel it into a bag, all right? You get your butt off. I'm no, I can't go home. The bus doesn't run for another few hours. I think she hung up. She, oh. Well, this isn't good. I, I'm probably in trouble now. Oh, great. Now he's back here. Just, Adam, Adam. What? Don't, don't cry. I'm not, I didn't even get to read the news story. What my mom called. And now she's mad at me because I didn't clean my room. And I just said, you know, throw the stuff out the window. It's not that big a deal. It's not even a room, is it? Did she sound like this? Yeah. Yeah. Did you? That was a prank. So my mom didn't even care whether or not I cleaned my room? Listen, I gotta be honest. I said uh, I said to myself, I'm getting sick of all your little segments here and all these news things. Well, I, what I had to do something to bring this show around. What did I say earlier about no more pranks, okay? The station has decreed no more pranks. We're not allowed doing them on the show. Well, that's it's too late as for long that as because... They, as long as they don't cause any physical damage to the equipment or no one gets physically harmed. Uh, that little, was the... There was a little damage. There was a little damage tonight to the equipment. I'm damaged. Okay, that's not fair. We also, at the start of this show, you know, I didn't know that this went out, but I said it. Not ma- you're not allowed making me cry this time. You're not allowed to do it. And here we are again, you know... Well, I'm breaking all the rules because uh, I also took your little thing here and farted all over it before you got here. So that's what that was. That might you be farted on it. I don't even need this on here. Joe, you have that. Well, you got to have on. it on. You got to keep it on there. I don't want it on there now. Now that I know what it is. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, in a way, you probably were. You probably had to smell it after you did it. Nah. Just to make sure. And then nah. it took me a long time before I had to smell it. And it mostly dissipated. I'll bet you got nah. it worse. You've been yeah. smelling that for 30 minutes. Well,. It's only Mission been accomplished. It's only been twenty, and how long? Maybe you smelled it for longer. No, I don't know. How no. long did you have to bring it here in how your you car? Do a successful prank. Guy. <sighs> well, I never claimed to be a successful prank. You okay? sure did. You sure did. I retracted that statement. He did bring it in his car when you left to use the last. I quit pranking, so we're not allowed to pretend it happened anymore. And I did do one really good prank, and another one that was pretty good. I didn't see any pranks you did. None. You were the victim of one. I was not. Well, for sure, I was not. You would have been. I was not. No. Um, if it had worked, it would have been legendary. So since it didn't work, I still consider it epic. No. 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 Whatever. Not at all. What I, I just care. did to you was epic. That was epic. I, three in a row. You're welcome. Right, I really Joe? don't three think so. Row, right? I really don't think so. Doesn't count. Yeah, three in a row. Because three in a row. You know what? A lot of people, what I was doing there, that was uh, satire, okay, for one thing. So... It didn't count, is what James always says. Let's go with that. You're finally yeah, realizing it. And where's James now? He's gone. Yeah, he's gone. He's but gone. he I don't need him to back me up. I have a lot of footage where he said, you know, satire is not real. And what I was doing was not real. But most of that news I was reading was real. That should be focused on. Uh-huh. All right. So can we at least get back to the Rick Gold's catalog? Because oh, we by all means, could we? If we don't end this show with raising enough money for Rick Gold, he's never going to get out of jail. We just did the catalog. Yeah, but I planned two separate ones. Oh, good. Do I have to play the theme song again? Yes. No. Oh, could you? Could you play it? I'll, I'll make sure you can hear it this time. Oh, that's my jam, baby. Turn it up extra loud right. for the people outside as well, not just in the booth. Yeah, it's like... Just make it like so it's in the red the whole time. Oh, yeah. Crank it into oh. the red. I want to really get this one through. Things All right, guys. around the house that you can't find because they make no sense. Well, they make sense, and we sell them from Rick Gold's catalog. Yeah, there's 
to shut you up there because it's Frank. All right, so wow. this is the best one we've ever done, and I know it's it's controversial. Okay, you're just gonna have to kind of. Oh, these ones are going to be controversial. Well, this is what Rick is currently being questioned about, but I'm sure that once the questioning is done and they have all the answers, he's going to be allowed to do it. So, what are you talking about? We're selling kids. What are you talking about? We're gonna sell some kids. I'm on not here. doing that. We're gonna flash their picture up on the screen. Of we we got three minutes left, Joe. Yeah. We have three minutes left. Well, we got to make this fast. We have three minutes left. All right. Oh, boy. We got we got some top kids here that we're gonna try to sell. They're all great top deals. Top kids. Yeah. Okay. So let's hear the first one. This is little Timmy. Forty bucks. He's eight years old. Forty dollars. He's one of the cheaper ones. He's a long term investment. He's really good at mowing lawns, but he did recently run over his own foot. Okay, so he's not mowing anymore this year. So first of all, he's damaged goods. Well, yeah, but you feed him Question. for the winter, and next year he'll mow your lawn all year With round. With the lawnmower? Yeah. Yeah. So he's neighbor to you now. It didn't come right off. They're, they're confident that they can fix it. It says here he's really good at mowing lawns. That's yeah. his only skill. That what? Yeah. And he's terrible at it. Well, that's, and he's hobbled. It's subjective. The other kids are worse. Trust me. Okay, listen. That's why let's, it's probably a long-term investment because when he gets healed up and gets a bit older... The other kids, it takes longer. Let's move on. Let's move on. T- uh, Barry, all right, little Barry, he's 150 bucks. He's like the best one that we've got. It's a big, it's a big investment, but it's going to pay off, right? He's, oh, he's already, the top model, is he? He's 14 already, and he makes his own money somehow. If you leave him to his own devices, oh, does boy. he have the internet? and he's willing to pay a tax to whoever you know lets him in their house. Oh, this doesn't sound right at all. Bad enough. Bad enough. Timmy actually, was bad enough. Let's move on from Barry. I well, think I think there's some 14. kids who could who could use Barry. What? I don't think he's actually 14. What do you mean? I think he's a little older. He doesn't... Okay, well, nobody... He's one of those kids we don't know for sure how old he is, but we're guessing he's 14. Let's move on to Jilly. I can't believe I'm involved in this. Jilly, she's 80. Dollars, you know, not 80 years old. <laughs> she's, she's $80. She's five years old. She's really quick, and she's really good at going in and out of small windows. So if you lock your keys in in your window, she can get them. Um, that's all, you know. She, just, just car windows. You can't sell five-year-old girls on the internet. You're just going to stop you right there. You can't do it. I don't care how good they are at climbing. You can't do it. Well, okay. If, if it turns out that Rick's questioning goes bad and we can't do this, then that's fine. We're going to be in there with them. Let's do one more. Let's do one more, okay? We got Windy here. He's six bucks. Windy? Yeah. He's seven years old. He doesn't talk at all. But he can play the part of a cat, mouse-wise. He'll take care of the mice in your house. And also, he finds his own food. So, he's a win-win. Because he eats mice. In- six bucks. No more mice. You got a kid. He's fed. He doesn't talk. That's a win-win-win-win-win. This is crazy. They, you know, they, people give away cats for free. Well, actually, Rick's doing that, too. He's got a bunch of cats, and if you need some of those, he's actually, it's a, if you buy one of the kids, you get two cats free. Oh, come on. Windy doesn't come with any cats because he's only six bucks, but he acts like a cat. I have a feeling we're going to see Rick Gold tonight. I have a bad feeling trying to sell these kids on, on the internet. We're going to see Rick Gold tonight. Or the police. Yeah.